everyone, Farmer Kate here and we are back in our reptile house doing another one of our educational videos. Now usually for our educational videos I will bring an animal out here to tell you some facts about it to you guys but for this one we're going to go into their enclosure because it's one of the bigger animals I'm definitely not going to be holding this one so we'll see how it goes. It's Rex our age water monitor so let's go say hi. So here we are in one of our biggest reptile enclosures, which is home to Rex, our Asian mock water monitor. Now she's just kind of skulking around at the back. I'll be honest, she's kind of not used to two people being in this enclosure. So she's wondering what's going on and is there any food involved? So she's probably going to creep around here and check out what we're doing in her house, basically. So you might be wondering, Rex, it's not a usual girl then even for a lizard. So we got Rex as quite a young lizard. We didn't really know if she was a boy or a girl, but she came with the name Rex and we didn't really assume anything at the time. And then one day when I came in, I found some infertile eggs in this enclosure just scattered around. So she'd gone through her first laying process, lays some eggs, well at first time because she lives her blood. And yeah, that's how we knew she was a girl, so it was a big surprise and we've called her a girl ever since. We did keep the name Rex because more intelligent reptiles like crocodilians and water monitors, like Rex, can have the ability to learn the names or at least associate their names with kind of positive good things, especially around feeding time. So Rex here, are you checking out, see what's going on? She Water monitors in the wild will originally come from Thailand, kind of South India, and there's a few islands kind of around there that they'll be native to. And they can actually grow up to seven feet if they're a boy, and the record is ten feet. But Rex, being a female, she will stay on the small size, four to five feet is the usual size for a girl. But as you can see, she really, really enjoys her pond. So it's really hot, really humid, like India or Thailand would be. And she spends a lot of the time in the water, near the lakes and rivers. And that's where they'd be doing kind of their feeding. So they're eating on fish, bulls, rats, basically anything they can get their hands on. They'd also kind of eat bits of vegetation, like they'll come, to come across a bit of fruit or something like that. They might take that down as well. With Rex, she's not too good at eating any kind of vegetable matter. So we've got a kind of paste mix that's kind of like crushed up insects mixed with like vegetables and fruits that we mix up and she will eat that which is quite good as well. So Rex, she is quite a special animal because she's our only monitor lizard which means they're quite an intelligent species to work with. So there is a lot going on in her head and she's actually target trained which is a bit unusual for lizards but it's quite common for crocodiles and monitors to be trained in kind of zoo environments. So we do that to get her onto the scales and she'll follow like a red ball and she kind of meet, associates that with like a tasty treat and that sort of thing. But working with Rex, because I work with her pretty much every day, I've got quite a good relationship with her. Not to the point where she'd be happy for me just to kind of go up and touch her or pick her up, but she's happy for me to kind of be in this environment. She'll come, she'll come up, say hi, investigate, see if I've got any food. But yeah, it's a really, really good animal to work with. She's really, really special to me. We really hope you've enjoyed seeing Rex, our Asian water monitor. We do have a couple of other large animals in our reptile house, which we might cover in another educational video. So you'll have to let us know if you'd like to see that and like and share if you can. And from me and Rex, we'll see you later. Bye.